Hi everybody, thank you for watching. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Clarins Instant Smooth Perfecting Touch. Now this is a primer that will go under foundation, something you'd put on first. It's described as a magic cream, something that you can just sweep over your face and any lines, pores, visible signs of ageing will magically disappear. So I'll be very interested to find out if it does what it says it promises to. Um, I've got a little four mil size pot here. Um, a trial size, this is 4ml, the retail size is 15ml and it comes around £25-26 depending on where you buy it from. I'll pop some links in the description below. So if you watch my videos you know I'm obsessed with trying to find products for sort of 35 plus that help us sort of mask some of the, um, the lovely things that come with age and um, just to try and give us a little bit more confidence. One thing I can't stand is um, all the little sort of fine lines and creases that appear you know you can see sort of where when you're younger you can't see any of the little bits of skin and I find now as I get older all I can see is sort of visible pores and so sort of once I put makeup on I can sort of sometimes depending on the makeup you choose it can sometimes make that look worse so if anything promises to hide them I'm straight on it like a car bonnet ready to test it out so here we go this is what it looks like inside it's like a lovely air whipped I think it's like a weightless kind of texture it's, it's, so it's oil free and as you smooth it over your skin I shall do one half of my face first and then I'll take a picture and we can see if we can see any difference it's hard here because the sunlight's quite strong so I'm literally hardly using anything on my fingertip you can hardly see and it's just it feels really nice it's um just feels like almost like the texture of a lip balm but you're putting it on your skin so I'm gonna do half my nose I think a pot would last a very long time I've got nails at the moment so I can't get inside this pot it's the only thing about a pot you can't get into them as easily as if you can squirt a tube but so I don't think you're gonna need very much Just gonna do half here and then I'm gonna stop and take a couple of pictures and we're gonna see if we can see obviously we're gonna put foundation on over the top of this but sometimes you can see straight away the difference now I shall come a bit closer it's scary I know and let's see if you can see on the camera whether there's any difference. I'll take a couple of pictures and then we'll do the other side. Okay, photographs taken. So I'm going to go and do the other half now because um, I'm not going to carry on with the half and half look. I'm going to go for the whole look. So. It's a really lovely little textured cream, especially if you've got dry skin, it's just another little boost. A nice little base for your foundation. I'll take another picture just in case we can see a difference on the other side now. So as you can see I've used literally barely anything out of that so a 15ml pot would definitely last you a good couple of months so although sometimes these products are expensive if they work they're worth every penny because if they make you feel a little bit good about yourself then um, you can't put a price on that so I'll just take a couple more pictures. Okay, so that's all applied. I'm going to pop the foundation on now just to see. I'm going to do the same foundation that I used in my last video, just so we can sort of, if we keep the foundations the same, we can see whether one primer is better than another. So the foundation I'm going to be using is the Chanel, which is the um, Taint, Ultra La Taint Velvet 
velvet matte and I used the shade beige 40 I think it's number 40 yeah shade beige now I tend to put my foundation straight on the brush simply because I lose a lot of it on my hands and then I'll distribute it afterwards some people like to pop it straight on the skin everybody's different is one of my favourite foundations anyway because it does a great job of I think I had it on one day first couple of days that I had it and my husband came in the house and he went wow look at you um he said your face it looks amazing which is really a rare thing for men to notice anything about makeup and I said oh yeah I've got a new foundation he said oh yeah looks like you've got a phone filter on so if it does if it looks like a phone filter, I guess it's doing its job because that's what they kind of promise to do. I don't like to use phone filters because otherwise you'd see me on a photo and then you'd see me on YouTube and you'd think, Jesus, who's that? So I've got to try and keep it real. So if we can do it with our makeup instead, then um, it's a winner. Might just need a tiny bit more foundation and then I'm done. I hardly ever use any of this foundation because it works so well. So even though it's got quite a hefty price tag, I think it's about 37. It does last for ages. I think I bought this one start of um, lockdown around March-ish time. And we're into July now and I've still got loads left. Obviously my social life is not like it would be normally, but I've done a heck of a lot of makeup looks in between that time and I do wear it quite a lot, so it has lasted really well. I think these two products are the, the other thing about the um, the Clarins is it doesn't have any real fragrance. I'll just double check. I don't think it does, and sometimes it's nothing. No, it's got no fragrance really at all, which sometimes if they're really um, strongly perfumed, it can really put you off. So, um, no, there's no fragrance in that. It just literally feels like popping a bit of lip balm on your face. So... That's the foundation done. I'll give you a bit of a close-up look. I think they go really well together. I'll just take a couple of close-up photos as well so we can see. So all in all, I think um, I'm giving this one probably a five, five stars, I think. This is fantastic. It really doesn't feel like anything light on your face. It's like a super, super light serum. And as you actually put it on, it's hard to show you in a video. As you put it on, you can almost see the, the it's almost like it just puts a sheen over your pores and you just can't see them as much as you normally can. I mean, nothing disappears forever. Obviously, nothing's completely magic, but um, this, it really, really does work. I think um, it's definitely possibly my favourite so far. So definitely a thumbs up from me. Thank you for watching. Do leave a comment and subscribe if you like um, the stuff that I talk about, rabbit on about in my videos. Um, yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.